and people started, you know, throwing macaroni and cheese in the air because it's the macaroni shakers. And everyone, like, I don't know how many thousand person was doing this. And then a police guy came and he was like, okay, you need to go. And I'm like, I don't understand. And he was like, well, it's not allowed to throw macaroni and cheese. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do it again. I didn't even say that everyone else was doing it because it's not ethically appropriate to say, but I'm like, I don't understand. And he was like, okay, you need to leave now before I do something. Okay, so obviously I'm a Muslim. Whenever they see that you're doing the same as what they do, they'll be like, oh, we're so proud of you and stuff, as if I'm having some kind of disability or something. I don't want to say it's emotional, but it's kind of put you down. I think the way the American society is structured, and I don't want to be, you know, sound like an expert or something, but the kind of relationships, even if you have friends, it's not like the friends that I would have back home. Like back home when you say something, you mean it. When you ask how you are or how are you doing, you kind of wait for an answer. But here, when you say, hey, how are you? It means like, hi, but I have to go. Yeah, well, Kit's reaction was really cute because like they would be asking me, you know, typical questions. I think because they're kids, they can ask, like, they don't have any kind of lines or borders, but adults, I feel like adults also want to know those, those stuff, but they wouldn't ask because they would think it's inappropriate. So one time, um, a little boy, he was a girl, she was asking me if I had ears and, or if I had hair because I'm wearing this. And I'm like, of course I do. And she was like, can you show me? And I took off my headscarf and I showed her. I showed her. She was like, oh, so you're normal. And I'm like, yeah, I'm normal. But the most surprising thing is that her mom is a Muslim and she wears the headscarf. So the headscarf, or as we call it in Islam, it's hijab, and that is to cover. And hijab is not only to cover your head or your hair, it's to cover like every, basically everything except for your hands and your face and your feet. The issue that I'm facing here is prayer times because we have to pray five times a day. When I first came here, I actually wanted my roommates to see me pray so that they won't think I'm doing, like, you know, they would understand some kind of, because I'm a cultural ambassador of my country, so I want to show my culture. Now when they call me from downstairs and I don't reply, they know for sure that I'm praying. They would actually talk to their friends about the way I pray, which is, I feel it's good because it's like you left an impact on people and stuff. Well, some of the people that don't know me personally, they would treat me differently. I wouldn't say it's not necessarily in a bad way, but they'd be like really cautious. You could feel that they're not that comfortable. But then once they get to know me, and of course, you know, they're like, oh, we're sorry because, you know.